Well, it's Shannon Miranda and this is your boy. Cheers, African Appetite. Hope you're blessed, hope you're well. And above all, embracing life out here in Copenhagen. It's a nice Sunday afternoon, should I say. It's around about 1 p.m. Out here by the lake again. Apparently, they've got um, a sort of foodie festival. It's called Copenhagen Cooking. So we're going to go look around, see them. See what people have got displayed, see what people have got on sale. See what cuisine is on offer. I know there's... Um, big communities here from Eritrea, uh, other parts of West Africa, uh, Turkish community as well. So it'll be interesting to see what local and also sort of migrant fare that we've got here. So yeah, don't forget if you're feeling the vibe, please like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. We're here to create a community so we can all grow. Hit the bell icon below for all my latest video. Come with me and let's explore. Let's see what Copenhagen cooking has got in store. Let's go. Right, by all accounts, I've been told that it's by the lakes here. I walked by the lakes the other day, there was not much going on. I can't really see any stools as such. This is a first lake. There are a series of lakes as I walk up. I did walk up to the second lake yesterday, or was it the day before? And um, there was a few sort of unsightly barriers there that I didn't really like. But yeah, let's keep walking up here and see if we can find this festival. We need to find it. I need to document some food, some varied food as well in this wonderful city and um, people here are so nice um, the whole I mean it, it was different yesterday when we went to Sweden um, to Malmo the atmosphere was completely different um, things were much cheaper there in terms of food and so forth um, but the atmosphere was a bit different um, I do like Denmark a bit more but then I'm being a bit biased I suppose I've been in Copenhagen a bit longer and it was only a stop trip um, to um, Malmo but yeah let's go let's have a look and see what we can find, if we can even find this food festival. Alright, we've reached the second lake here, which is the one with the barriers. Um, I think it's just a matter of keep walking. Apparently there's a series of lakes. So maybe I was just being a bit lazy the other day. I didn't actually walk as far as I needed to walk. There seems to be a lot of activity, people coming back from there. We've got some runners here. Um, but yeah, let's keep walking and see. Yeah, it was right the way down. It's right at the bottom here on the last, which seems to be the big lake. And I can see some sort of gazebos there, so that looks promising. I think we've arrived. Yeah, it just seems to be a lovely day here by the, um, by the lake. As you can see, a lot of foodies out here. Got a selection of food stores. We're gonna go around and see what everyone's doing. Cool man. Got the usual drinks. I've got my drink fully loaded so I don't need to worry about that. Have a look at this, what's that? Chai, man. Oh, chai is good tea. Chai is a good, okay. a good chai. With saffron, with cardamom, with ginger, oh. vinegar, and some love. <laughs> you always has to have love. Love is faster than that. <laughs> These are falafel. Women are making bread over there. Oh, the fresh bread, yeah? yeah. Oh, wow. The Copenhagen Cooking and Food Festival is an annual trade show in celebration of Copenhagen's varied cuisine. It celebrates and showcases delights from the Nordic kitchen and other great culinary experiences. It's all made fresher. 
This is one of the largest food festivals in no Northern Europe, which hosts over 100 unique events in a very welcoming environment. This is an opportunity for many migrant communities who have settled and now live in Denmark and other Scandinavian countries to show and share their cuisine with the masses. As a result, Copenhagen Cooking and Food Festival is a festival that shows the wide and wonderful gastronomic experiences Copenhagen has to offer and due to the smart design of the city it ensures that many of the great public spaces are utilized as a perfect place for holding this event. Every year there are numerous events, pop-up restaurants, social diners and new offerings from the diverse gastronomic scene in Copenhagen. Therefore when you're in Denmark and if you want to find out about what the current food trends are then the Copenhagen Cooking and Food Festival is definitely a must for your bucket list. Yeah, that's quite disappointing. The only um, African food joint there, um, they claim to have a whole heap of, of dishes on their menu, but they say they've only got two. So I don't know if that means that they're popular. I mean, this place is just open. Um, but I'm definitely going to get a couple of bites to eat and see um, what I can document here. I like the little setup, it's just a nice small little setup, it's not that big, um, but everyone's here, all the foodies and so forth. Got grilled oysters here, which is kind of interesting. I'm, I don't think I've had grilled oysters before, I might have to give that a shot. Bread that the ladies are making. Mm. They did them now. The flakes and the Japanese barbecue sauce. Oh, okay. So what do I get for 55? For 55, you get four of these. Four of these, and then that's with the sauce. Yeah, that's with everything. Okay, yeah. Do me that. So I'm going for the takoyaki first. So I'm going for another beef hot dog this time what are the things at the top or is that pineapple yeah that's full pineapple oh okay <laughs> right managed to find somewhere to sit and this is my first one uh, it's a beef sausage this time it's fully loaded with everything in it um, I've just come here by the water Seems only fitting, but yeah. It's on there. Got all the pickles. The sausage is similar to the one yesterday, but a bit more salty. Got the grilled pineapple on there as well. I don't know if I like the sausage as much as the one I had the other day. This one's a bit on the salty side. I'm feeling the pickles though. The pickles and the sauce, but they do, they are a nation of cheese lovers. They do love a lot of cheesy stuff. You could have toned it down on the cheese. All right, I've enough time, let's keep going. It all looked a bit of a mess at the beginning, didn't it? But <laughs> it, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, it takes time. I was gotta, worried for you. <laughs> you gotta trust the process. Yeah. So it's about patience, and it? it's not one of those things where you can just quickly just put it in and then it, it comes out the way it no, is. It's got to be very fluid when it goes in because we want it mm. gooey on the inside when it's finished. And you substitute the the shrimp for the chickpeas, you said? Yeah. In this one. Actually, squid normally. Oh, it's Ta normally ta squid. Taco means squid. Oh, okay. Yaki just means fry. So yeah, we substituted with chickpeas. And is, is there any dairy in it, or is it completely vegan? Is there any dairy in it? No, there's no, not any dairy. But oh, right. And there's also fish in the sauce and uh, dried fish flakes on top, so it's not vegan. Okay, it's pescatarian. Cool. All right. 
Right, for round two, I got the tapoyaki. Um, pretty little things, took him an age to make. I was a bit worried about him at the beginning, it just all looked like a whole heap of mess. He said usually they're made with um, shrimp or squid, um, but they've been made here like in a fusion style. So they've utilized chickpeas, but they've still got like some, there's still some flake fish on there and um, also some crispy seaweed powder as well so yeah gonna give this a try but um yeah definitely look nice and beautiful okay let's try one of these little bad boys yeah, what I've actually got, I've got this drink and I'm just finishing the last bits of it. I've had to change my camera. But it's like made out of um, local sort of plants. It's a really refreshing drink. Like I said, this drink is mad refreshing. Got a little bit of fizz in it. But I'll tell you what, yeah. You can taste obviously that it's made out of plants. It's got a little, little, just a little light hint of sweetness in the background, but it's really, really nice. I was going to get a beer, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm with this. Yeah, what makes it more interesting is the guy was just explaining to me there that the actual, um, the actual drinks are made by local youths who've got nothing to do, and they're sent out there foraging because all the actual plants that are used to make those drinks are actually from sort of like wild flowers and things like that and so basically they go out they forage them and then they actually make the drinks themselves for sale and then um, they benefit from the profit so it's giving people employment giving people a skill as well in terms of teaching them how to actually um, make stuff from things that you can just forage and find readily available uh, within our environment obviously it's eco-friendly as well and it's vegan and um, the main thing is that the drinks are tasty they're really really nice no no big up <laughs> yeah that's what I've got I've got the Akara here I've managed to sit it down here on a, a sort of <laughs> bed of um, a hedge, should I say. But yeah, I've got the chilli sauce, got the pepper on there as well. I'm just going to go in for one of these on their own. Yeah, African Appetite, we're just out here freestyling, supporting the people then. In terms of... Mm, really kind of meaty and the chili sauce is not that that sort of peppery yeah I think they're quite popular here and a bit of background the owner is actually Gambian but it's a West African offering not quite as West West as I thought but yeah man big up yeah my car has been joined here by a chicken skewer all grilled up and what they've done, they've got the skewer and they've actually caked it in the same chilli sauce so yeah, are gonna go in on that and taste that I love the way the vegetables are all grilled up, yeah, let's have a taste of that Straight in like a stray dog searching a bin Yeah, They say the best things come to those who wait, yeah Mmm, this has just got everything Chicken is plump grilled but still juicy on the inside I don't know if it's the breast they use I think it might be the fat and I love the pop of the veg and then of course that signature chili sauce that they got on there yeah man oh yeah jollof house doing their thing yeah I've had flavors in my mouth today from Japanese to German I mean sorry Danish and now I'm going African yeah man See if I can create something that I can actually pick up and eat like a burrito you know what I mean Mm. I'm glad I come out here today just to get a varied fare. I mean, I'm in Rotterdam, I'm, I'm in um, Copenhagen, as you know. Um, we're eating like a lot of 
They be going kebab today. I've had my first share of kebab whilst I've been here. But I just wanted to some something different. Document a bit of different cuisine. Definitely getting full up here now. I'm gonna walk back out here to the river. See if I can sit down and wrap this this bad boy up and um, see if I can finish my little thing here. But I, think I might have to get a beer. So the day's wearing on. I don't know where Neil is. You know how we do African appetite, man. I was born alone. I move along. See if it can be picked up, which it can, and see if it can go into my band two gob. Yeah. yeah. Be beautiful day for it. I don't know what happened to weather last night. Mm. <laughs> no, man. It's African sandwich time. Mm. You see the Akara, it's a real distinct taste. There's no, there's no hard term. I suppose it's a West African version of a falafel. But I'll tell you what. Just a bit more depth of flavour, a bit more fermented. Then you got the chilli in there, you've got a little veg. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that, man. That's lovely. I finished that, but I've just realised I thought the food festival was literally just this little bit that I found here with all my people here, all my fellow foodies. Um, but I've actually realised I've seen it stretches. There seems to be some stands down there. Let's take a little walk and see what we can find down there. Also see if I can find myself a cold beer, because tell you what, I do need a cold beer after all this food I've been eating. Cold beer will go down the tree. Fun safari, yeah. Mm. So funny, I've just come here and I've tried to find food joint and I'm looking, I was not even really that hungry but I found this place here, safari. And it's run by, um, there's a Rwandan guy and he's actually got a Zambian lady cooking and she said to me she'll fix me a plate that I'll be familiar with. But um, yeah, <laughs> we're here man. And um, I'm, I'm gonna get my full spread, I've just ordered it. And um, see how I can tuck into that. But yeah, well, it's good to go man. I'm glad I ventured out here. appetite it's very rarely that I'm so sort of excited for a meal here yeah this lady I've come to this festival yeah we're just by the banks here of a river a lake in Copenhagen and she's hooked me up with, I've got with some Bondwe which is Kalaloo to you people who don't know um, and there you've got some Inshima or Sadza whatever you want to call it it's ground maize Got some grilled goat meat there and a goat stew as well with some chili sauce. Man, I'm gonna go in here, African appetite, man. I'm not I've already eaten, but yeah, this is my stuff. This is my sort of food, yeah. Hi, you people who don't know, man, there's no other way to go in, man. There's no other way to go in, man. You just go in there. 
Stray dog search in a bin style, yeah. Can't believe I'm out here. That I'm here, look. Let's get a bit of the veg on there as well. I can't believe I'm here in um, Copenhagen, eating in Shimmer by the Lake. Oh yeah. Oh man, I got me. Classic deep stewed goat. Mmm. I'm feeling that. And the greens, absolutely delicious, yeah. Okay. Let me see if there's chili. Boy, I've got a bit too much of the chili. I'm gonna go in with the veg as well. Oh man. Mmm. Yeah, with the pepper. That's a different way there. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. People, I'm I'm not ramping, you know, I'm not playing, I'm not playing games. Like I said, I'm here, I'm in Denmark, yeah. And this ain't no Shabin somewhere in Africa, yeah. You can hear my African music in the background, yeah, but I'm just chopping away here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this beef is saying. There's grilled beef, I saw him grilling it. Let's see if I can find another bit with a, a bit more fat on it, like that one. Mmm. It's tough. The goat meat is tough. It's grilled. For all you guys who are not a fan of tough meat, in Africa we do like a bit of a tougher cut of the meat. And this will qualify as that. Mm. Nice season grilled goat meat, mate. Yeah, there's even more of this food festival it stretches out it's all across the lakes so yeah that was just one area and here we seem to have a little bit of live music Let's see what else is going on here got some coffee 